Morning, friend. It's time for another thought question to add some wonder to this Wednesday because sometimes the real wonder is in the questions we ask on our way to finding answers. This week's question is inspired by my favorite Maya Angelou quote, which I'll come back to a bit later. The question to ponder is, what does home mean to you? I'm feeling all cozy just thinking about it. favorite questions to ask people and it's been one of the most important questions for me to explore in my own life. I think how we feel about home tells us a lot about our value system, about our history, and about our sense of comfort and belonging and where we find it. Maya Angelou says this powerful thing about belonging when she says, you are only free when you realize you belong no place. You belong every place, no place at all. The price is high, the reward is great. If this quote moves you like it moves me, I'll link more context to Maya's interview down below for you to read. But for me, I think as a young person, I really struggled with the idea of home. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this, but coming from a divorced family situation, I always had two places to live, a space in my dad's house and a space in my mom's house. I felt a sense of home in both places and that I felt comfortable there and like I had a place to belong no matter which parent I was with at the time. It's funny, as a young woman, I often thought of myself as a New Yorker even though I've spent most of my life living here in Pennsylvania. And when I examined why that was, I realized it's because so much of my family still lived in New York that I felt a strong sense of belonging associated with that place, even though I had essentially grown up here and was building my life here. Over time, I've come to realize that I associate belonging with having people. I recognize with a tremendous amount of gratitude that I have a lot of people who love me and who have my back. And even though at the time where I was still thinking of myself as a New Yorker, I had people here, it sort of felt like I had more people in New York. So in a majority rules kind of way, I felt a sense of belonging associated with that place. As I continue becoming in the growing into my own soul kind of way, I am learning that home is not a place for me. For me, home is a state of being, a state of understanding, a state of belonging. First to myself, which is the hardest work. Coming home in my own skeleton and spirit, feeling at home inside of myself, no matter where I am, and then recognizing that because I belong to myself, I belong and am at home wherever I go. But also, home for me is a state of assurance in the way that I belong to others and that they belong to me. I am loved and surrounded by love wherever I go. My family in New York accepts me, loves me, and has my back when I'm away from them, just as much as when I'm with them. My family here loves and belongs to me when we're all cuddled up on the couch or sitting together at church or miles apart. We belong to each other, you and I, in small ways whenever we choose to show up and wonder and explore together here. 
So for me, home is love and belonging, and that travels really well and lasts longer than the height marks we etch in doorways or the wreaths that we hang on our front doors. So that's my deep and philosophical answer to what home means for me. But as for my four walls, I am quite partial to my own house and keeping it inviting and cozy and well lived in. I think my whole family feels the most at home when we're just hanging out and enjoying the home that we've built together or when we get the opportunity to share it with our closest friends and neighbors. What about you? What does home mean to you? Where do you feel the most at home? How do you make a new house or a new town feel like a home? Comment below or take a screenshot now to tag us on your insta stories with your answers we're really excited to keep the conversation going and to feature some of our favorite responses from you in a future video if you haven't already hit the like button on this video subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking on the bell so that you're sure to find us here again next wednesday morning with another thoughtful question to wonder through together in the meantime, thanks for having coffee at home with me, and I hope you're making the most of your one wild and precious.